everybody to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to move on to the next solar system or systems. Uh, so I have fully charged, well almost fully charged my hyperdrive. Um, in fact I had to go get a little more oxygen to make that housing. And now we have um, a full a full hyperdrive there with fuel. Um, also when I was uh, kind of wandering around looking for a little bit more carbon and stuff I found a drop th from my fight with the Sentinels, and it turned out to be a um, an exosuit uh, mod. So it's this watery harvester mod. Excuse me. Um, that gives us 11% shield strength and 28% further sprint distance, which is pretty nice. Uh, so we have that on our suit as well. Um, it doesn't seem to. It does. I, I don't know. Uh, I would think the environmental shielding is probably what it would connect to, but it doesn't highlight, so maybe it's a standalone thing or something, I don't know. But anyway, we are ready to take off, so let's do it. Finally leaving this system. We've been in this system for a long time. Okay, so we, we do have a waypoint. Um, I guess, let's go, yeah, let's go do this first. Man, I always miss those stupid rings. Okay. Loot all this stuff here. And um, yeah, we gotta go up on that thing. Let's check this first. Uh, I'm just gonna toss that out for now. Nice! Wow! <laughs> we got a supreme thermal protection module on a on a heat planet. Uh, okay, we got some encrypted navigation data there, and uh, looks like that's all that's in here. Okay, let's um go here, and we want to install this. Okay, this is uh, an almost total of thermal. This improvements to cold protection and cold damage shielding. So this is a cold one. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> well, still very nice, and will come in handy when we go to the next ice planet. Get some nanites out of here. That can restore uh, our shield. Is that restore? That's our environmental shield, right? Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was the environmental shield or the um, or the hazard protection. Oh, I want to grab this condensed carbon up here. It's pure ferrite. All right, let's recharge our shield here. And then we'll head up and see what's going on with this thing. Holographic comms tower. <clears throat> A power condenser. 
Uh, okay. Oh, gotcha. We gotta charge it. Right. All the terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. The extra power should allow me to reestablish the connection to Artemis. Tune to Artemis's frequency. I try to locate Artemis's frequency, uploading the data from her previous communication. Well, hello, Artemis. Who's who's there? You. It's you again, isn't it? You really are real, aren't you? You aren't a dream. Um, say you are real. I'm sorry, it's hard to think here. Something's wrong with the gazette. It's easy to create a better reality when you have to. I thought you might be a dream. I'm sorry. I haven't heard another voice in so long, not since I cut the speaker from my exosuit. It said such terrible things. Ask who they are, ask what they are. Uh, who they are. The stranger smiles through the static. I'm just like you. You are a traveler of worlds, aren't you? Ask what they mean. They do not respond with speech. They transmit a vision, a red star, and a fragile world. I do not understand the shapes within the whispers. I see life forms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxies. I see the stranger's first breath yearning for the stars. I see myself slumbering in the crimson void waiting for a dream of worlds. And through the darkness, I hear it said, Anomaly detected. Designation, Traveler. Awaken. What I showed you just now, it has haunted me since I awoke. You must recognize it too. We are the travelers, discoverers of worlds. From the moment you opened your eyes, you must have known you were not like the others. So did I. Before I became stranded here, I was on a journey to Gazette to finally meet. It cannot be a coincidence that you found this signal. Tell me, do you still have the data log from that crash ship? Um, yeah, she asked for the data. I, well, I'm assuming this is a female. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. I upload my exosuit's records, including the strange transmission I received and the data I found at the crash vessel. Much of my equipment is damaged. I am alone on foot, stranded on a sunless world. I don't even know how your signal is reaching me, but this ship you found, it belonged to me once. Perhaps there is hope after all. We need to work out where we both are. If you build signal boosters across this system, we should be able to triangulate your position. I'll be able to gazette, find my way out, and you'll get the answers you seek. Agree with the plan. Thank you, Traveler. You're going to save my life. You're going to find me. Does that mean we have to stay in this doggone system for longer? I don't like that idea. Signal Booster, a versatile scanner that detects nearby buildings. You can decrypt navigation data to pinpoint specific locations. Signal Booster can be dismantled and redeployed for easy transportation. Okay, cool. Blueprint recorded to catalog. Um, build a signal booster. Okay, to begin the triangulation uh, triangulation process. You know what? Screw this. We're going down the fast way. Okay, let's recharge our shield and then we'll uh, see if we have everything we need to build this signal booster. Okay. Signal booster. We are. We need carbon nanotubes. That should be easy enough. Okay. 
Okay. Triangulate position. Place first beacon. Suitable tri uh, triangulation position located. Pick up the signal booster with and make your way to the triangulation site. Okay. I don't remember doing this. I'm sure I did it the last time because Artemis, Artemis in this part of the quest line was around the last time I played, but I just don't remember any of this stuff. Okay, so now we need to go to... Wherever that is, it's not on this planet. Hey, spaceport. Wow. That's nice. Oh, this is one of the exosuit places. Uh, upgrade places, I think. I don't think we've even landed on this planet, have we? Antimatter housing. Okay, let's make another carbon nanotube. And an antimatter housing. Install new suit slot. Beautiful. Um, why don't we put that slot right here? Just because that having a hole right there in the middle of everything is kind of weird. Excellent. All right. That was cool. Many more of those to come. Let's get some navigational data here. That new um, thingy we found is is helping us out here too. What do we charge that with? Uh, dioxide uh, or an ion battery? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I don't think we've been on this planet at all. Not that I remember. There's a bunch of the green canister thingies down there. If we get in here, does that recharge this? No, I think we always have to manually recharge this. Um, but if it only takes six dioxide, let's do it. Okay, so we make the triangulation thingy, thingy me doodle. Triangulate position. Navigational Suitable triangulation position located. Pick up the signal booster and make your way to the next triangulation site. Before we do that, though, locate nearby structures. Oh, this is going to be handy, man. Uh, I think that's the spaceport over there that it's showing us. Okay, cool. All right, um, I mean, we could hang out for just a little while and do some scanning. Let's, a, let's at least scan stuff that's very quick and easy to scan because we get a little money for it, so why not? Okay, there we go. Okay. We just scanned you. We scanned you. 
We'll scan this rock. We'll scan that rock. There's something else down here. Oh, there's a knowledge stone too. Is it you? Yeah. A little armadillo looking thing. Learn the Gek word for hello. Oh, no, don't get near that thing. I thought that was a oxygen plant. It's, well, it sort of kind of is, but not the kind that I thought. All right, any other red dots? Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if, we, yeah, actually, you know what? Let's go to that spaceport because we might be able to buy some chlorine to fix that one part. Oh, that's not a spaceport. That's an outpost. All right. We'll check this out, too. We might find a good multi-tool here. Make the rounds here. Navigation data. Okay. Nothing to do there. Okay. Nanites. And, oh, a new word. You've learned the Gek word for federation. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's check out this multi-tool. It's sea level. Does a tiny bit more damage, but less scanner range. More slots, but it would cost us 1.9 million to switch over. So, nope, not going to do it. Um, let's talk to you. Purchase components. Exosuit upgrade chart. Oh, right, that sells, uh, tells us where all the those locations are. Um, switch. Do we have anything we want to sell? I'll sell him um, that slime we picked up. Yeah. Um, I don't think we have anything else to sell. Okay. How do I get back to his other menu without... Yeah, I, I don't know how to do that. I have to get all the way back out to come back in. And then go through all this baloney again. Let's see what bl blueprints he has. <coughs> Barrel ionizer. Bolt upgrade. Okay. Nope, not interested in any of that stuff. Alright, let's talk to this guy and see if we can learn another word. Stupid friend, blah, 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 friend, trade for something. Blessed with joy, I try to signal my thanks to the trader for his olfactory gift, but they make it clear they expect something in return. Give him a Trader snorts in satisfaction. Suddenly, I feel as though I am lounging beside a crystal ocean. A fair trade. We got standing with the Gek. Nice. Okay. 
Is there chlorine in here for sale? No, there's pugmium. Okay. All right, we are finished here. No reason to stay any longer. Okay, that spaceport, I think, is right over here, isn't it? I don't know where it is, actually. <laughs> um, let's use this scanner. It's in this nearby vicinity. It's just so hard to, to find stuff again without waypointing it in this game. <laughs> Excuse me, at least... I find it to be that to be the case. There's something over here. That's a galactic trade terminal. Um, is that the same as the one that's in the outpost we were just at? Might be different. I can't really tell, to be honest with you, though. Okay. I think that's where we just were at that drop pod there. Okay, well let's get let's get moving. I really really want to get out of this system before we're done with this episode. Launch thruster. Technology I'm just gonna look a little bit longer for that spaceport. This is the outpost we were at. I think that ship's trying to land. Um, it was somewhere over in here. I should have paid a little more attention to my compass when I spotted it the first time. Dude's having a hard time landing. I've I've seen that game do that before where the AI can't figure out how to land their ship. Is this it over here? Just a broken machinery part thing. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't want to spend all day looking for it. And again, I wasn't paying real close attention to the compass, so I don't remember what the heading was when we spotted it. this oh that's one of those archaeological sites okay we'll be we'll do stuff like that um, but I want to get a base established first a home base um, oh there's another outpost okay well we're stopping here
talk to this guy. The trader seems ill. Their skin is frostbitten and flaky. Their eyes lack a certain luster. Ice crystals have formed around their tear ducts. Well, that sucks. Friend. Gek. Help friend. Help. A strange flat stench fills every corner of the facility. I inspect my exosuit for things I could offer this light form. I would say probably life support. I collect a piece of hose from the floor and dock my life support system with the little alien's own exosuit. After doing that, he infects me with, with what he had and we both die instantly. <laughs> uh, the relief on their face is plain to see. Must you have the facilities washed away, replaced by a delicate, fragrant perfume, the very scent of gratitude. He hands me a valuable reward. What do we get? 95 nanites. And standing. Okay. Uh-oh, my computer's doing the weird frame rate thing again. All right, well, let's grab those. Um, we got a new milestone. What is it? We've met 35 aliens. Yay, us. All right, let's look at this guy's stuff real quick. Purchase components. Yeah, it looks like he's got the same stuff as the other one did. Purchase blueprints. Okay, and then um, let's look at this. This is a B class. It's got a crap ton of slots and it's got an optical drill. Wow, look at that. Plus 50% resources mined. That is good. We'd have to raise 3.6 million uh, to get this. Does a little more damage, a little less scanner range. 27 slots versus 10 slots. <sighs> no, I don't think so. It's going to take me too long, guys. <laughs> It'll take me so long to raise 3.6 million. Um, let's look at this, but I think this might be the same as everything else we've looked at. Eh, no, it does seem to be a little bit different, but it still don't see any chlorine. That's what we need. I think we need to find an ocean planet for chlorine. Okay, well, we're done here. Okay, we're leaving. We are finished. Um... Yeah, no. No more distractions. Let's go. <laughs> no more distractions. Okay, let's see if we can actually hit the landing site this time. I think we got it. Um, nope, we didn't. Why, why is that so doggone hard, man? I don't remember having trouble with that last time. We can't even get to the data thingy. Oh, yeah, we can. I think this is a security site. Is it? Oh, no, it's not. We need to recharge our life support. Um, let's use dioxide because it only takes 24. There we go. Gek Observatory. A life form that works or worked in this installation left its equipment scanning the skies for interesting new systems and spatial phenomena. In its absence, it struck gold. A beacon has been received and a transmission sequence awaits response. Oh, one of these things. Okay, one, two, one, two. Two, one, two, one. One, two, one, two. Two, one, two, one, right? 
I discover a location within the distant stars. Meaning on this planet. A signal detected. Well, actually, is it on this planet? Nope, it's on that planet. I don't even know what that symbol means. Okay, um, anything else to do in here? goes back outside that way. Oh, here we go. Oh, we need an Atlas Pass to get in there. Okay. We should probably invest in one of those fairly soon. We can get it at the Anomaly. I don't think we did this over here. We did not. Alright, I'm just going to chuck that because we're not near a selling place. Manites. We like manites. Okay, let's look inside of both of these guys. I'm going to probably have to restart my computer because the frames are all jacked up again. Get some nanites from there. Um, we don't need to recharge our shield. Uh, oh, here we go. Encrypted navigation data. Oh, I guess we got nanites from that. Okay. Let's get this thing put down. Return to space to contact Artemis. Okay. I'm going to actually head towards this thing. We went to the trouble to figure it out. Not that it was hard. Oh, it's an ancient ruin. Okay, I think what happens with those is we can get Gravitino balls, but then we have to fight Sentinels. Um, yeah, I mean, it might be worth trying, I suppose. Okay, Artemis is now trying to contact us. When I first reached out to the heavens, I had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. And here we are, aren't we? Go to a hollow terminus, upload your data, let's find each other. go check this out. I'm not ever planning on coming back here, so if for no other reason I want to get it off my my HUD, because I think it, well, it won't stay on the HUD when we go to other systems, but it might stay on the galaxy map. stone here. Learn the Gek word for here. Ok, 
Exact word for spawn. Memories of some word I'm not even going to attempt to try and uh, talk about. I convulse as I reach out and touch the beautiful stone marker, my mind filling with a deadly knowledge of the true history of the Gek. We are the masters of galaxies, the overlords of the cosmos. Each foe will submit with bended knee to the almighty Gek dominion. We are the first spawn. Look upon our works and despair. Uh, I think I'd rather get more language help. My knowledge of the Gek increases. We've learned the word for first. Okay. Now, isn't there... Uh, Gravitinos around here? Oh, look at that guy. A buried mineral formation. Oh, you know what? I, I must be thinking of a different... A different place. Knowledge stone, knowledge stone. A, what is it? What's a buried mineral formation? Let's go investigate that. I'm curious. It's like a sand flea, except for it's a snow flea. A big one, too. Okay, let's switch to... Glowing mineral. Uh, okay, what do I do? Just mine it like normal? A geodesite. Ooh, that sucker's worth 150,000 units. Nice. Okay, we'll take it. Okay, let's get off this planet. Um, and do we... Do we have a marker for finding a transmitter thingy, or are we, do we have to do that alone? If we have to do that on our own, I'm not doing it in this system. I want to get out of here. I so want to get out of here. <laughs> um, let's just get back up into space and see if we get, you know, um, an indicator, a communication, that sort of thing. Uh, but otherwise, what we're going to do is we're going to go into... The galactic menu or galactic map I'm sorry and finally a black hole is detected I'm not doing this <laughs> it's doing it all on its own um interesting okay so that's where the black hole is out of jump range. Okay. So we are here in Ragil or Ragil. So let's just jump right to the next place. Uh, this is a Corvax system. And here we go. Finally. <laughs> How many episodes have we spent in this doggone system, man? I mean, it's only only the second system we went to. I want to find a place with a nice planet so we can start a base. That's my number one goal. So as long as the main quest storyline leaves us alone for long enough to do that, that's what we're going to work on. Okay. Ishira Nick system. Five planets, one moon. Let's do a scan. What do we got here? This is a bountiful planet. 
That sounds that sounds promising, ladies and gentlemen. That sounds very promising. Um oh. We have a we have a marker here too. Okay, that's probably for finding Yeah, it's a hollow terminus. Okay, we'll go there and do that. Um But I wanna Let's just pop down onto this planet real quick. Bountiful seems to suggest that it's probably going to be an, a nice planet. Or at least nicer than anything we've come across so far. Okay, it's very red terrain. Okay, it's got orange forests. Almost, almost looked like palm trees. I get the, the notion that it's probably not, um, you know, uh, hazardous environment. Kind of like a little crater lake down here. Do we know how... Oh, there's a building there. Okay, let's see if I can actually hit this right this time. Nope. <laughs> For Pete's sake. <coughs> this is pleasant weather. We have enforcing sentinels, frequent flora, and abundant fauna. Ladies and gentlemen, this is by far the nicest planet that we have come to so far. It's red, but see that looks like a palm tree. So this might, we, we are going to see what other planets are in the system, but if, if nothing else comes up in the system better than this place, I think we're going to set up our first actual base here. Let's check this. Nanites. Um, but we will. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to build our base near a spaceport, or at least near a um, an outpost, preferably a spaceport. We got some more nav data here. Box to loot there. And a Corvax. I can't open that door. Okay, let's talk to this dude. As I approach the electronic life form, they instinctively start to analyze me from head to two foot. They chitter animatedly, their head tilted to one side. I must be a novelty, something new on this planet of wonders. Blah, 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 blah. I mime that I know little of their kind or how they communicate. In response, the lights of their mask flash a repeating series of three, of three building in intensity. Common metal, uncommon metal, or rare metal. Let's give them some rare metal. The electronic life forms lights blaze with sudden intensity. My offering was clearly what they were hoping for. Yay, yes! They rest their silicon hand on my visor and thank me with a transfer of language. You have learned the Corvax word for traveler. And we got some rep. Okay, cool. That's If, if we end up living in this system, then uh, we would definitely want to start learning their language. Um, and getting rep with them. Okay, let's see what this has to say. <clears throat> 
The operations terminal reveals an automated plea for help, a clear pattern emerges uh, within the white noise hissing from the screen. If I can work out what comes next, I could potentially lock down the distressed craft's location. Ooh, so this could be a new, uh, a new ship. <sighs> okay, so... Um, 23 times 2 is 56. So that is not what we're looking at. 45 minus 23 is 12. 45 plus 12 is... Not 89. What about... Oh, but it is 24. Okay, so 45 plus 24... No, it isn't. Um, I hate these puzzles. <laughs> okay, so so twenty three plus twelve is thirty. Or no. Hold on a second. The first thing I need to do is stop trying to figure this out in my head, because I am just not good at math. You guys watch my channel, you know, you know that. <laughs> okay, so 45 minus 23 equals 22. Okay. Ah, okay, so 22 times 2 is 44. 45 plus 44 wait nope I hit the wrong button 45 plus 44 is 89 okay so that means we now double 44 to 88 89 plus 88 equals 177 And then 88 times 2 is 176. Okay, and then 176 plus 177 equals 353. Distress signal coordinates discovered! Okay, nice. Um, I believe that, well, maybe we should go there now just to make sure something doesn't get screwed up with it. Um, but my question for myself is, do I know how to make a beacon? Base computer. Well, if nothing else, we can always build a base computer and use it as a waypoint. Because uh, apparently I haven't learned how to do beacons yet. Did we scan that dude? No, but we... Oh, look at that guy. Okay, so let's, um... Let's go check out this distress thing, and then we need to wrap up this episode. So the distress is this way. And we are going to, yeah, we're going to want to do an Atmo jump on this. There's the space station. Way over on the other side of the planet. This is Suzalik 
Lomic. That's the name of our potential new home here. Wouldn't that be cool if we found an S-Class ship? Oh, it's a fighter, whatever it is. Nice looking ship. The Pride of Jeopardy. That's a C class stock, on it. And man, is it busted up, too. Um, okay. It's got terrible damage potential, but that's probably just because it's busted up. Well, I don't know. Maybe the, it says potential, so maybe that's all it does. But, what is that? Oh, yeah, it's just a, a photon cannon. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't want this. It's a cool looking ship though. Very cool looking ship. Is there something we can do in here? Distress beacon. The high tech ship's emergency systems activate as I climb on board and a hologram appears before me. The lights in the mask it wears seem dim and dim. The pilot calmly reports news of its imminent demise. The noise of explosions and tearing metal can be heard. The hologram dis uh, disappears, leaving an array of glittering technologies and devices behind it. Some of them still look operational. Search for functioning technology. The research ship carries fascinating technological advances. I scanned a blueprint and can now construct one of these advances myself. Long range sensor scanner. An upgrade to the Starship's galactic scale sensors. This device allows the user to access detailed economic data about a system without having to visit it. Right. Okay, cool. Well, that might come in handy at some point. Um, let's check this. Nanites. More projectile ammo. Alright guys. I am gonna wrap up the episode here. So here's what we're gonna uh, here's what I'm going to do actually. I'm gonna fly around off camera until I find a spaceport. And we have this um you know we have this new signal booster thingy, which here let's just do it right here and see what it does. Locate nearby structures. Okay, well, we found a trading post. Um, but since... I gotta think about this. No, change of plans. I'm going to hop up into space, and I'm going to scan the other planets just to see if there are any other planets that are also bountiful or, you know, suitable to live on. If there aren't, then I will come back here, and I will look for a spaceport or otherwise a place where I want to build our base. Once I figure that out, then I will start up the next episode, and we will go from there. Um, if I do find another planet... Uh, in this system that would also be nice to live in. Then I will decide what I prefer to live there or here. And then same thing. I'll go find where I want to set the base. And then I'll bring you guys back in that episode. Um, or uh, in that situation, I guess I should say. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.